assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to your channel the anatomy canvas in today's class i am going to describe the model of the eye and the bony orbit so this one is the model of the eye and the bony orbit i will uh, show you uh, all of the features bony orbit and the eye one by one so first i will see the bony uh, pieces which are forming the bony orbit so here you can see first of all you can see that this one is the maxilla this is the ma maxillary bone here you can see the uh, nasal bone this one is the frontal bone this gland which is present over here is the lacrimal gland and it is present in the lacrimal fossa of the lacrimal bone and here you can see the ethmoid bone which is present here you can see the zygomatic bone and zygomatic process of the zygomatic bone you can see over here so this one was the uh, frontal bone and uh, in the uh, this part is the part of the anterior cranial fossa and here you can see that this is the cristagli which is present and here you can see the cribriform plate which is present this area is the sphenoid bone and here is the um, cellular tachycardia where the, uh, the pituitary gland will be present and in this uh, location you can see this is the sphenoidal ear sinus which is present in the sphenoid bone this side is the medial uh, wall of the nasal septum and this is the perpendicular plate of the nasal septum which is present again here you can see the frontal sinuses which are present in and then this is the part of the nasal bone so these are the uh, bony features again another thing you can see over here this one this is the infraorbital uh, foramen which is present over here now i will show you the different parts of the um, eye ball and in this eye ball you can see first of all the muscles which are visible over here this one is the superior rectus muscle this one is the lateral rectus muscle here on this side as you can see the uh, medial rectus muscle which is present over here then i remove the superior rectus muscle from here and then i will show you this muscle which is passing through the pulley this is the superior oblique muscle so this one is the superior oblique muscle the medial rectus muscle the lateral rectus muscle this one is the optic nerve which is forming the optic chiasma over here and behind this you can see the inferior rectus muscle which is present and here you can see the inferior oblique muscle which is present in this area you can see the lacrimal gland which is present now we move on to the different parts of the eyeball so as you know that the eyeball uh, is formed by the three cords the outermost cord is the fibrous cord the middle is the vascular cord and inner is the neural cord so outermost cord which is the fibrous cord is formed by the cornea and the sclera uh, this one is the cornea which is present over here and this whole is white color fibrous tough coat which is the sclera to which all of the extra ocular muscles are present now i remove this part over from here now you can see that i have removed the first cord the i have removed the outermost cord so this one was the sclera this was the cornea now i have removed this cord over here and you can see the second layer which is the corio capillary layer so here you can see this is the anterior chamber which is present this area is the iris you can see over here and this uh, opening this window is the pupil which is present then you can see the choroid which is present now i open again this area to see you the internal structure here you can see now that this one is the lens which is present here you can see the, this these are the margins of the iris which are present from here you can see and here you can see the ciliary processes and the ciliary body which is present which continues behind as the choroid so this one was the second layer and here you can see the iris is present and behind the uh, iris this area behind the iris this area is the vitreous chamber so between the iris and the vitreous chamber you can see over here this is the posterior chamber which is present and then this is the posterior segment and i remove move the iris 
uh, I removed the lens and the vitreous uh, area and now you can see that uh, this is the innermost layer this is the retina so in this retina first you can see this is this one is the area from which optic nerve is going out so this is the blind spot and lateral to this blind spot in this area you can see the fovea centralis which is present over here in these areas you can see the retinal artery and its different branches which are present in this area then moving on to the anterior compartment here you can see the ciliary body which is present over here and uh, uh, behind in this area you can see the choroid which is present so again i assemble all of the pieces to again show you and revise all of the um, things now so just a quick revision now this one was the fibrous coat the sclera and then the cornea which was present over here so i removed the sclera to show you the second layer this is the choriocapillary layer the choroid which is present iris which is present and anterior chamber which is present between the cornea and the uh, uh, and the between the cornea and the iris so this opening is the pupil so this area is the anterior chamber now i remove the second coat over here and then you can see here this one is the lens which is present behind the lens uh, this transparent area is the vitreous chamber and between the lens and the vitreous chamber this is the posterior segment and anterior to the um, lens and the iris is the uh, posterior this is the posterior chamber uh, posterior uh, chamber and this one is the posterior segment then i remove both of these parts to show you the retina the optic uh, blind spot from which the optic nerve uh, goes outward then the uh, fovea centralis the central uh, artery and the retinal artery and the uh, retinal veins which are present and here you can see the ciliaris muscle which are present so that's all about this model